The following episode contains discussion of eating habits, intense arguing, harsh swearing, and gore. If you are sensitive to any of these, please listen to your own discretion. If you would like to read the script instead, the episode's transcript is available on our Tumblr at dineinandthevoidpodcast.tumblr.com. Otherwise, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining in the Void. When someone falls unrecognized, what will they have realized? They'll search for clues, uncover pasts, but will they learn which one is masked? They cannot hear the truths I speak, for they are young and growing weak. They have to play, it's all set up, and by this point they're all fed up. They'll point their fingers, she's got eight, the ones she'll blame will feel the weight. With tensions that are unresolved, No person there is uninvolved. When someone falls unrecognized, what will they have realized? Okay, so if my counting is correct, and it usually is, we have been here for uh, almost a month in Earth Days. Nobody's found any escape pods, have they? Or something we can convert into an escape pod? Okay, what about the comms? Sawyer, you were hunting for a comm room. How did that go? Anything at all? Anyone? Has anyone done anything this past month besides me? I haven't left this room in two weeks. Except to get food. I've left a few times to go work in my lab, but I'm so sluggish I can't get anything done. Katie Bell, what are you doing? I have made a pyramid of coffee cups. If not all of them, but I collected about 30 and made this. Look, isn't it nice? Galatea? Hmm? What's wrong, Katie Bell? Why'd you do that? I worked hard on this. Darling, it's just a bunch of cups. But I made something. I was proud of it. I've done more in these ten minutes than we have all done collectively in two weeks. You only took ten minutes because you kept trying to stack them as high as possible. It's supposed to be doable in two minutes, but you managed to make it last even longer. Congratulations, Katie Bell. You are truly an inspiration to victims of boredom everywhere. Balancing cup is difficult. Don't make fun of me. So, just to review. Katie Bell, film star and the face of her people who has starred in countless films, is most proud of stacking a pyramid of cups. A stack that she kept knocking over. How depressing. At least I was doing something. Everyone, leave me alone unless you have something nice to say. Oh, good. She's sulking. Wonderful. I hope you're happy, Soyam. Galatea, darling, we're all feeling very low right now. Don't you darling me. You hurt her feelings. Well, you started it. I didn't call her depressing. I just said it was silly. Harmless, even. You wanted to hurt her. She wasted her time. With cups, it's depressing. They're just cups, Sawyer. How could they be depressing? I would explain, but that wouldn't be wise. I've already hurt Katie Bell's feelings. Oh, just say it. Fine. I think stacking cups is a waste of your time. You could have gone out there and looked around for something, like Aveline has been doing. Well, what have you found, Sawyer? A lot of animosity from all of you. And a a murderous shapeshifter. You see, Mars, I have found things. Most were by accident, mind you, but at least I found them. Katie Bell just wants to sit around and play with her stupid cups instead of doing literally anything else. Hey, let her live. 
Katie Bell just wants to do something that is an investigation, which, by the way, almost killed me. You almost got killed? When? What happened? I was opening this really tall door yesterday. Or two days ago. I can't remember now. But I heard someone scream my name, so I stepped back and looked around. I couldn't see who it was, and then I heard this, like, clang noise. I went back and was about to step through the door, and there was this panel of spikes where the door had been. If I'd gone through instead of stepping away, I might have died. This isn't normal. There are booby traps in a fucking space station. And that's why I'm not exploring. I almost walked into a room with some kind of growling thing in it. I'd guess it was a bear, but who knows what else is in this place. I'm glad I heard you scream for help. After that experience, I couldn't go exploring again. I'm getting really sick of my life being in constant peril. You could come folk with me. That requires energy. I should save my energy for when something does happen. Yeah, that's odd. Nothing has happened for the past three days. You'd think our host would be trying to push us. Waverly's right. This host is awful at motivating their guests. If you're agreeing with me, things must be dire. Oh, no, darling. I was agreeing with your idea to save energy. We don't have much consumable energy left. Let's not talk about that, okay? Every time we do, we argue about who's eating too much. Well, it's not my fault that some of us don't eat normally. We've all been trying to ration, and it hasn't been as successful as I would have hoped. Everybody should watch what they eat, and if you're not hungry, leave your food for later. Sire, what do you consider normal? Eating sufficiently for one day, once a day. Some of us can't last on one meal a day. Oh, really? How much do you eat to maintain that figure, Galatea? Or rather, how little? I eat four meals a day, thank you very much. Or is that too much food to be considered normal? That's a lot, Galatea. I don't think that's normal. But neither is eating once a day. Well, what's normal for you, then? Do they photosynthesize on Trillia? Is that why you're all green-skinned? Hey, Tala? Can you tell us what is considered a normal diet for a carbon-based life form? It seems like some of us need that clarified. Can we please stop talking about food? Tala, I asked you a question. I'm not going to answer that. Oh, great. No matter what I say, you're all going to find something to argue about. I don't want to be responsible for that. We're not going to argue, Tala. We know better. Then why are you all sitting in angry silence and insulting each other when you do talk? See, I was right. You're all angry for no reason. Can the host silence Tala? Listen, doctor. Don't call me that. You are the reason that my hair is in mangled chunks. You are responsible for my injuries. And you haven't done anything about it. I haven't done anything. As soon as we escaped the game, I sewed you up. Yes. And it hurt. I may be rusty, but I stopped the bleeding. You didn't die. And you know what? At least I did something to help. I didn't just brush it off like some people. Are you still on that? We have to move on at some point. They're right, Sawyer. You made a joke of it. But you, Mars, you didn't apologize. I did. Not sincerely. <sighs> How do you want me to apologize? Should I stab myself and say, Oh, it was all for you, Miss Galatea, as I'm choking to death on blood? Oh, don't be dramatic. I heard your sincerity when you spoke of darling Phoenix, but none for causing me pain. Who's Phoenix? This doesn't concern you, Waverly. Sit down. Every time you tell me sorry about that game, Doctor, you make excuses for what you did as if you had no control. We were held against our will. Oh, I know. I was there. You weren't the one who had to make those choices. I wouldn't have been as cruel as you. That's easy to say now, but in the moment, it's rather difficult to stick to your principles. You have principles? Mm. You accepted money from someone unsavory to build some kind of project. A project, might I add, that was less than legal. The Universe Galactic launched an investigation a few years ago. They didn't find anything, but 
If your confession gets out... I didn't... You didn't what, Sawyer? If you deny it again, Joe might just burst through the wall and punish me again. Maybe she'll take a whole hand this time. I'm not denying anything. Oh, wonderful. Then we've solved it. Everything's perfect now. You can go back to being Mr. Perfect. You didn't lose a goddamn eye. Well, as long as we're calling each other out, I know how you speak to your assistants behind closed doors. You have three talented, bright young assistants, and you have been nothing but cruel to them. How dare you suggest that? What do you base that on? Jealousy? I have evidence. What evidence could you possibly have? Eight months ago, I just so happened to be working on a new spaceport on some planet in the Pollux system. Who should be there but you and your team working on a photo shoot? You and I didn't speak. I couldn't find the time to say hello. Just minutes before I had to depart again, one of your assistants informed me that you once cut off an old assistant's finger. Joe couldn't have known about it, but it's oddly coincidental. The assistant who told you that was angry that I didn't return her affections. As such, she started that vile rumor. But as soon as my manager learned where it came from, he fired her. I may have what you people call a temper. I would never inflict pain on someone. But you told me at the dinner party you cut off a director's hands. I was exaggerating, darling. <laughs> About cutting someone's hands off? Who does that? Cruelty is not in my repertoire, darling. Unlike you two. We weren't being cruel. But you did cruel things, and I have to live with it. Marked on my body, with scars. Look at me. I'm grotesque. W well, at, at least you have an eye patch. Yes, that Tala led me to. She doesn't have a body, and yet I trust her more than I trust any of you. Her? And Waverly. She's proven to be more straightforward than most of you. Oh, thanks. Not only are we taking sides, but I've had one chosen for me. Hey... I know you're all divided about what happened during the game, but it's been weeks. Either talk it out on your own or... Well, I hate to be mean, but please just suck it up. I agree. I wish you'd all shut up about it. I lost a fucking eye, Katie Bell. Don't chill at me. I know what happened, but you're so angsty about it. Not without reason. Our host wants us to be miserable. They want us to turn on each other so that we'll reveal our worst secrets. We can stop this if we work together. Right. That's what you've been doing. If we're going to split up, I'll pair with Aveline, and you can pair with your cups, because they're your only friends. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Who got salty because we called her out for doing something useless? You've gotten more attached to drinking containers than any of us. Waverly, I, I thought we were friends. We are. We <sighs> spent all this time hanging around each other. Trust you more than all of these... These angsty jerks. Now you're yelling at me for basically no reason. Just just calm down. You're starting to sound like them. Nothing even happened to you. I'm sorry. Do you want to try stacking again? I don't feel like it anymore. Do you want to go back to sulking? Okay. Wait. Hold on a second. You two don't get comfortable just yet. I just had an idea, and I need you to help out. Oh, how convenient. Miss Ace Reporter just so happens to need two people who are clearly busy. Well, at least Katie Bell is. You know, if you need a partner, Queenie over there would just love to spend some alone time with you. Hey, maybe I would. I'd rather do that than sit and listen to you people. Galatea, are you jealous of Waverly? Not at all. I just think it's odd that you asked them and not the rest of us. To be fair, I don't really feel like looking around right now. You see, I'm just too tired. I need to sit and think about how perfect I am. I couldn't possibly do anything productive. Mars. I'm Sawyer Green. I'm a big blue businessman and I've got the perfect husband and child. And I got fooled by a shapeshifter. And here I thought you weren't this childish. Well, I thought you wouldn't engage in shady business practices. I thought maybe, just maybe, we could work together. You'd lead and I'd have the smarts. 
But I guess I'm wrong, aren't I? We're too different. You're right. We are different. What do you mean? When something goes wrong, you just ignore it and hope that it doesn't come up later. Like that cure. The one you knew could kill Phoenix. It was either that or she'd die slowly. It wasn't finished. It wasn't ready. What cure? What are the two of you talking about? So, you took a chance. And it killed her. I told her it could kill her. I wouldn't have used it if she'd said no. You let your sister die. Oh, fuck off. I didn't let her die. We took a chance and I failed her, but I sure as fuck didn't let her die. The virus had been destroying her for years. She was ready to die no matter what happened. Since then, I've saved millions of lives, military and civilian. That's... It's supposed to have made up for it. It was her body. I respected that. We tried. Sometimes people have to die. I believe you, Mars. Would you like a hug? No, I need to get out of this room. I feel like I'm suffocating. Well, that was interesting. Shut up, Sawyer. Mars lost someone, and you blame them for it. You were there in the room when they told you that story. I don't trust them. Have you lost anyone, Sawyer? I lost my brother when I was a young man. Kenny. I miss him dearly. Then how could you be so awful? Surely you understand what Mars is going through. Imagine going through all those years feeling like it's your fault that person died. Wouldn't you want to keep that a secret? Wouldn't you want to avoid being shamed too? I... I... Stars, I hope they're okay. I don't want them wandering into a trap. Okay then. I'm going to check on Mars. We'll be back, uh, eventually. Mars? Hello? Ooh, so that's what we really meant by a panel of spikes. Well, Mars might be in trouble. Hey, Tala, are you there? I'm here. Do you want to know where Mars is? Yes. Are they okay? Uh, define okay. Not dying? Then they're okay. Where are they? Keep heading down the hall. They're behind the orange door. Mars? What? Mars, I need your help. There's this panel at the end of the corridor, and it's... Well, I moved it slightly, and something fell. Something big. I found it about a week ago, but I wasn't sure who to tell, but... I mean, if you want something to distract you from this, we could go check that out. I mean, it might be helpful. Whoa. <laughs> what, have you never seen someone crying? Everyone looks the same when they cry. Gross and pathetic. I don't think you're gross and pathetic. The others do. I don't think they do. Sawyer does. He doesn't speak for everyone. Just because he's got some kind of, I don't know, hang up with you, it doesn't mean it actually reflects on you. It says more about him than about you. I guess you're right. Thank you. I know you said no earlier, but would you like a hug? Yes, I, I would. Thank you. At least I'm not hugging your legs. Finally, someone short enough for me to hug. <laughs> what did you want to look at earlier? Oh, right, okay. So, there's this panel, and it was partly dislodged, and when I tried to push it to the side, something fell down. Something big. Take me there. We should make sure it isn't another monster or something. Tala, scan for any dislodged panels and tell us where they are. I thought you knew where it was. Yeah, but we've moved so much that I'm all turned around. I'm detecting three dislodged panels. The closest one is around the corner to the right. After that, you're going to take the first left corner you come upon. Easy. Easy for you, maybe, but some of us have to walk. Hey, did Galatea learn anything about her? She came back from the control room after working on Tala, but then didn't tell us if she did or what happened. She didn't talk to me at all. Why'd you ask? 
I was just making conversation. Tala, how close are we to the panel? Hey, so about that, I went ahead and uh, I may have looked at it. It's kind of gross. Are you sure you want to check it out? Thanks for the heads up, Tala, but I think we're good. No, like, it's gross. It's like body fluid gross. We can handle it. I mean, you're a doctor, Mars. You've probably seen bodily fluids all the time. It can't be that bad. When I work with fluids, I wear a mask, full scrubs, and gloves. If we're going to go look at it, we have to protect ourselves. We need to find masks, gloves... That'll take too long. Last time, the blood cleaned itself up before we made it there. I mean, who knows? The thing in the wall might do the same, and then we'll have walked around the station for nothing. I'm going. Aveline, I'm coming with you. You just said you didn't... You're not going by yourself. Wait, stop! What is it now? Seriously, you two, it's... it's bad. You don't want to look at it. Odd. The second we actually get out and explore, the ship tells us no. Why can't we explore? I'm not saying you can't. I just... Okay. Fine. It's disgusting, but if you want to subject yourself to it, then go. How does she know it's disgusting? She doesn't have eyes. She scanned the ship, maybe? I don't know. Wait, stop for a second. I think this is it. Are you sure? Yes, this is how I left it. Okay, come on. Help me move it. My god. Oh, oh god, this is... This is someone we don't know. Oh, uh, uh, it's all covered in... I, I don't even want to know what th- that is. Uh, I, I can't look. If I have to look at it again, I, I might be sick. You're a reporter, aren't you? Surely you've seen a corpse or two. I'm not that kind of reporter. I usually avoid stuff like this. Messiest reporter can't handle a corpse. Really. Is it normal for there to be a dead body in the wall? Death is a part of life, and unless you've forgotten, this isn't exactly a normal circumstance. Yeah, but it's it's a body. <laughs> Stars, look at it. The, the face is just... Uh, it's burnt off. I think it's melted off, actually. Probably some kind of acid burn? This isn't the host, is it? No, it, it can't be. They wouldn't have died to their own traps. They'd know them too well. <sighs> That's a fair point. We should go get the others and see if anyone might know who this could be. Even without the face, they might recognise a tattoo or something. You're not that type of doctor, though. I've watched murder mysteries. I know what to do. Aveline? Aveline! Oh no, what did I do? Who knows? Maybe that's just how she talks to people. She's running! She's running! Get out of the way! Good news, everyone! Galatea stopped herself just in time. If she'd kept going, she would have shot right through the wall and out into space. Well then, thank the stars I stopped. I am going to strangle you, you pathetic excuse for a journalist. Now that's an insult. Keep your mouth shut, Doctor. This doesn't concern you. Okay then, I'm just gonna go check the body for evidence. You! What did you do to Tala? What do you mean, what did I do? She came to me after talking to you and Mars. She couldn't speak. She's an AI. She probably just malfunctioned or something. We're all... (laughs) No, she was glitching. She kept repeating this error message, something about unauthorized behavior. I don't know or care what you did, but you freaked out Tala. Now I'm going to repeat what I said because I know you understand me. What did you do to her? Galatea, there's a body lying on the floor. Can we not think about the computer for a second, please? Hmm, who could this be? Um, you okay, Katie Bell? That body looks awfully familiar. They're another Divinos, but it's not me because I'm here. Did you know this person? Katie Bell, I know they're of your race. Is there a chance that... No, just because we're both Divinos, it doesn't mean we know each other. There are three billion of us on Colestra. I wouldn't recognize just anyone. I don't recognize them either. They can't be one of the Devonostrian ambassadors to Trillia. Their clothes are too... old. That's weird. These clothes look really old. Any luck, Mars? Well, I didn't find anything like a name or identification on them, but I did find this. 
It's in Earth English. Well, it's a good thing we can all speak it. It's a poem. The time is running slowly out, and soon it will be gone. One of you will vanish till you all can get along. Find the host to win the game, but only one can leave. The rest will perish in space with no one there to grieve. We weren't brought here for a dinner party. We were summoned to play a game. It's not Joe's game, is it? No, it can't be. They'd have gotten to us sooner. Right. If it were Joe's doing, we all would have been captured and forced to tell our secrets. But Aveline, you haven't. And neither have Waverly or Katie Bell. That doesn't mean Joe isn't a problem. If this is surfacing now... We could be next. Hey, Galatea? Yes? Did you have any luck with Tala? No. Most of her files are restricted. I've never had any problems accessing AI files. Then Tala might know something that the host doesn't want us to find out. How do we know she isn't the host? Good question. If she has all those restricted files, maybe she's hiding something. She could pretend it's out of her control while secretly executing commands. And what are you suggesting? I'm just saying it might be an act. I'm surprised you're accusing anyone, Aveline. You haven't told us your secret yet. Neither has Kitty Bell. Don't turn on me. I didn't do anything. We're not turning on you. We just asked what your secret was, darling. What does it matter? I haven't done anything wrong. You must have. We're here because we all have dark secrets. I do. Sawyer does. Aveline probably does. Talop. I don't even know what to do with her. Wait a moment. That's it. Tala, do you have anything regarding our secrets in your files? Nope. I'm just as clueless as you are. Probably more so. Don't be rude. She's a machine. She's stupid. She's trying to help us. Oh, stars. Oh, stars what? While you all were arguing, I was trying to root through my files. I think I stumbled on something resembling your secrets. A file called secrets underscore dinner underscore 3018. I peeked at Sawyer's, but you know his, so that's not helpful. But they were all there. Seven files in all. What's happened to them? I... 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 I can't find them. But you just had them, didn't you? What happened? I lost the file path. I'm sorry. Oh, great. We'll be stuck here for another month, then. You lost it? How do you lose it? What kind of an AI are you? I said I'm sorry! I'm so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. I can't believe you. You're not dead. dead. You're, You're supposed to be dead. You're supposed to be dead. No, no, no. You tell me. Tell her. Just You're talk to me. I can't. I can't. I can't breathe. Leave her alone. Tala, don't respond. Just stop talking. Just take a moment to process. And to breathe. If you can. Now, if you can... Tell us what is going on. Normal process suspended. One month milestone has been reached. Milestone? Now activating host prompt. Host prompt? Reading file, Hotel Oscar Sierra Tango 030. Loading. Greetings to all of you. If you are listening to this, it means you have spent an entire month on this ship. Happy one month anniversary! I don't think you'll be this terrible, but if you are, well then, I worry for future groups of candidates. If they follow your example, this process will take forever. I must warn you now that you do not have all the time in the universe. If you do not complete the trial in two weeks, we will select a contestant at random and grant them freedom from the trial. When they have departed, the entire station will fill with deadly gas. Your bodies will be sent to the places you indicated over the comms at the start of the trial. Thank you for your participation, and we hope you don't disappoint us. End message. Returning to normal process. Whoa! That was weird. Hello! Is everyone okay? Define okay. Wow. We suck at this. We didn't even know this was a thing. If it helps, I'm here because... Well, I'm here. I don't have any memory from before, but I want to help now. I'm going to try and halt that kill-all command before it happens. If it gets to that point, I'll help you. Thank you. I hope it doesn't come to that.
So, we're on a floating death trap. Wait, if they send the bodies back to their home planets, how come this one is here? The host wants to send a message. Get off this ship or die horribly. Well, that's not fair. We didn't even know it was a game. Not only that, we didn't even hear whatever other stupid prompts they might have been given. We've been trying this whole time. To be fair, we did sit on our arses for a few weeks. I don't think that message was meant for us. If this is, in fact, a floating death trap, maybe this person was a former contestant. Maybe their competitors actually completed the trial or whatever, and that message was a backup. But why didn't we hear the host until now? If the host is one of us, maybe they had disabled them. I mean, maybe they forgot to turn them off. If the dead contestants were able to communicate their final wishes, the comm room must be accessible. I'll, I'll need to get my bearings first, but I'm going to find it. If we can get in contact with someone, maybe they can help us escape. And then they can get us food so that we don't die. Galatea? Yes, darling? Could you teach me how to hack? I mean, you're basically a hacker at this point, right? You could say that. Maybe we could go root around and tell us files. See if we can get around some of the restrictions. Only if she's okay with it. If it helps you all escape and get back home, I'm happy to be of service. Great! So you and I can work on Tala. We can work with her, you mean. If you say so. I'll keep exploring the ship. I'll join you in case anything else comes up. Well, hopefully this is the only corpse we find. I will head further into the ship. Whoa, wait. It's dangerous in there. I'll go with you. But you said there were traps. We'll be more careful next time. I'm not letting anyone get hurt on this stupid ship. I meant... Oh, stars, that was insensitive. I'm sorry, Galatea. You're a little late on that apology, darling. But I forgive you. So we're all doing something? Yes, I believe so. Okay, we've only got one map. Does anyone know where we could find more? I might have the layout in my files. You'll have to search a bit, though. I'll find it. One of us should seek out some kind of replicator or printer. Why don't we all go? If we're going to get off the ship, we need to all pitch in. Why not? I'm in. Okay. Come on, everybody. It's time for a field trip. Dining in the Void is a Zebulon podcast production. This episode was written by Arizona Johnson, and it was directed by Nicole Birdie. The script was edited by Ari and Nicole Birdie. The role of Aveline Lyon was played by Ari. The role of Galatea Ivory was played by Molly Alex. The role of Waverly Black was played by Molly Ray. The role of Katie Bell Silver was played by Bio. The role of Mars Cobe was played by Emmett Moon. The role of Sawyer Green was played by Dylan. The role of Tala was played by Arizona Johnson. And the role of R was played by Piper. Music was composed by Benny James. The sound was edited by Nicole Birdie. All sound effects come from freesound.org. Follow us at zebulonpodcast.tumblr.com and on Twitter at Dining in the Void. Thank you for listening.